Hi everyone, so this week we are going to talk about the needles. And before I'm going to start this short video, I'd like to thank Eticon, right, for giving me all the samples for all my videos. Hi, so when the previous videos we have talked so much about the sutures, the type of sutures, and now one of the most important part of the suture is actually the needle. As what you can see here, this is an arm suture. And remember, do not handle needle with your hands. So whenever we talk about something, mm, we always start with the anatomy, right? The anatomy, yes. The needle also have its anatomy. So, what is the anatomy of the needle? You can see usually the surgical needle is round. Alright, <laughs> it's about this size. Alright, this area. This is what we call the curvature. Okay. This is the curvature of the needle. Alright, this is the middle point. So the needle point to the circumference, this is what we call the radius. Yeah, this is actually a non-brainer, right? This is a needle radius. But the most important thing is this part. This part is the needle tip. Okay, this is the part of the needle where we the first contact of the tissue that you want to do any suturing from the needle peak and we come down. This is called the body. Wow. The needle body. Alright. And behind this needle, alright, is all, as opposed to other needle like your grandma. Okay. There's no needle eye here. But we got we call it needle switch. Okay. A needle switch is not like a eye like that. It's not something like a, you know when your grandmother you have a needle eye. No, this is actually something like a hollow place at the end where the suture will come in. Right, of course, there is actually, if you look at the technology, there is actually a narrow uh, place where it holds the needle there in place. Alright, so other than that, under the curvature from the tip until the switch alright this part is called the needle length needle length is important right we must know the needle length uh, in order to use it and the last but not the least the other part of a needle is this from the needle point to the switch alright so you can have a long line and this is called the needle cord length. Alright, so this is all about the anatomy of the needle. So what are the types of needle that we know? Okay, of course this is a very general statement but when we talk about the type of needles, we are actually talking about the curvature of the needle okay generally the needle there are only two types of uh, curvature the bigger group which is number one is a straight needle okay and number two is the curved needle so this is an example of a straight needle. You can see that there are actually two needles here. Alright, as you remember from my previous video, that the needle, the packaging is actually real dimension. So this is the length of the straight needle. You can see straight needles. Also, you can also see a curved needle. Alright. As for a straight needle, it's nothing much. It's only the length of the needle that makes the difference and also of course the, the size of the needle 
okay we don't go to that but how about the curved needle the curved needle how are we going to classify the curvature of the needle all right it's actually very easy you just take a look this is a circle sorry my circle is not so well done all right okay this is the center of the circle curve is it a half circle that means the needle is like this the curvature of the needle is half circle all right we also the most commonly used mm -mm, is not half circle it's actually 3 8 so you then look at the look at the circle we divided into eights all right let me get this clear for you okay we divided into eights eight part all right and the needle that we most commonly use is the curvature e 3 8 okay so we also have a one fourth which is this one fourth for uh, any plastic surgeon out there of course you guys i know you guys like the five eight right five eight will be like that okay this is another one the five eight needle so so conclusion we actually we have a five eight we have a half circle all right we also we have a three eight circle we also have the one four circle and for those laparoscopic surgeon out there i know there is another very special we call it a j needle i'm so sorry i don't have the samples here this was not sent to me but j needle is designed specifically to close the laparoscopic wound so it's actually it's like this and it curves up all right so this is a j needle so the most exciting part of the needle is always the tip of the needle right. or we call it the needle point why is it important because the tip of the needle is the first contact of the needle to drive through your suture into the tissue that you are going to uh, put the thread on it so for you guys to better understand the tip of the needle all right you can see the needle is a body of needle right okay but we focus on the tip all right so the most common tip that we we would easily know is actually like this if you draw it 3d right so if you just look at the cross section it's like this right so it's a triangle right this is what we call a cutting tip conventional cutting tip so the symbol is not like this the symbol is like this right okay so this is a cutting tip the cutting tip is very good for fascia you know the tough tissue right the fascia the tough tissues and even for the skin right for the cutting tip so what is the disadvantage of this cutting tip is that it cuts through it cuts through the tissue so for a uh, uh, delicate tissue like the bowel like the vessels you cannot use a cutting tip if you use a cutting tip it's going to tear through all your soft soft delicate muscles all right so how do you prevent that so some we would know we put it as a reverse cutting okay but the name by itself reverse cutting is like this all right the cut blade is not at the tissue right it's just at the further away right so this in hope that the tissue that is not so tough but you still need the durability though you need a reverse cutting right usually you put this in ligaments yeah you can use it in fascia yes right you can also use use it in a oral mucosa remember oral mucosa not the <laughs> we are not talking about the power yeah right and also you can all also do it on the tendon sheath so you just take a look 
all this you are using on the tough tissues. So in order to overcome the tip that is cut in, we can actually use a taper tip. What do you mean by taper tip? Alright, if I draw here the body, okay. Right, the taper tip is like your regular uh, grandmother needle, you know. Right, so the tip is not sharp. Alright, it's like a cone. The conventional uh, symbol that they use is a circle with a tip. So that is a taper tip. The taper tip. Actually, this is uh, for delicate tissue and that's not tough. You can use it on the vessels. Yes, you use it on the bowel. Alright, okay. But however, there are also uh, some place where it's not tough, it's not soft, it's somewhere in the middle. Can you imagine where is it? This is places like the nasal cavity yeah right the oral mucosa buckles right or the that's the pharynx right all this tissue you want to say they're tough they're not that tough they're not too soft they're not too soft right when you need a tip that can able to cut through but you don't want the effect of cheese cut the tissue so we have a very special uh, tip, we call it a taper cut. It's like combining a taper tip and a cutting tip together. So it's actually it's a bit round, but in front of it, there is also a cutting tip. It's just that the cutting tip is a bit uh, smaller, it's not through the whole length. So that is called a taper cut. For those ophthalmologists, uh, they will love this. Uh, you, they will love to use this tip of the needle that is called a spatula. So the needle is actually more of a spatula like that. Right? It's actually flat. Right? So this is called a spatula, and the symbol is like this. So we use this for cornea. We use this for sclera, uh, sclera, right? So this is another uh, type of the tip of the needle, alright? So to further advance on that, sometimes you need the place, uh, the plane, if on the ophthalmology, alright? So sometimes you need, you still need a center point. Uh, that means you need a precision. So. We can we this is what we call a center point spatula. And the symbol is like this. So now we know the tip of the needle will be only will be like cutting, pepper, or spatula. Actually, there are only three categorization, but there are more. So actually uh, I just want to keep it simple. So this is uh, the way how I'm going to classify the tip of the needle. And why is it important? If you take a look at any suture that you see, you want to know right, what kind of uh, tip and this correspond to the tissue that you're going to do. For example, for this like a micro rapid, personally, I use it for the skin aid. One thing is because we use it for the subcuticular suture. For those who don't know what is a subcuticular suture, you can always see back. Okay, I already put a card here, you can uh, review back the video. Alright, so the thing is, this microrepid, we want it to just nice, not to cut through the, the, the skin. And also, we want it to be a bit more gentle to the skin. So you can see, it's actually a taper cut. The tip is actually is cut, but it's not so tough on the tissue. So next, we are going to talk about the length of the needle. Okay, as you can remember, the length of the needle is actually from the 
active till the switch and according to the curvature of the needle all right so it's always expressed in millimeter right why is it important the length of the needle is important when it comes to more advanced skills like laparoscopic skills right so let's say the troca usually if you want to do a laparoscopic suturing right you know the troca the plastic sheet right so it always come with uh, 12 mm 10 mm mm, the needle that you can put in is a bit small but the thing is 12 mm just nice because 12 mm you can put a needle size 23 or you can put a needle size 26 all right for all i know size 26 is actually the length right so this length well you know if fit or not is actually uh, it's the radius right but this information is not laid to you right so 26 will correspond to the maximum size of the 12 mm part so that you can do a laparoscopic suture so where do you find all this uh, needle information it's all here whenever i talk about needle we always talk about the proper use of a needle this is very important because we are going to be a surgeon you are handling the needle day in and day out right of course i always need right do not handle the needle with your finger all right okay so so and I, I have to highlight again i'm in my studio and we are not doing any surgery so this why i don't wear a glove right so but you must understand this your wrist you have this movement pronation and supination and as you see the needle is designed in such a way that you are using this movement let's say this is an issue right when you want to drive the needle in right you will see 90 degree 90 degree i have a lot of juniors and my students as well they don't do entity they do something like this it's not going to drive through the tissue it's very traumatic the tissue all right so that's why you must have 90 degree and pronate the supinate out pronate supinate out all right and of course the most important thing right do not clip the needle tip once you clip the needle tip the needle tip is blunt and once it's blunt it's going to traumatize the tissue further so this week is rather light and we actually learn more about needles of the suture so thank you for supporting us for the videos and i hope we have learned something today please help us to like subscribe and hit the notification button your support will help our channel to grow so see you guys next week same time same day same channel thank you